here. Right, Becca, Study your Becca, laws of the oh, universe. Like, laws of the universe. Right, we right, get the master key. I'll be here, dog. Have a good one. This is XXX Tentacion, aka Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfoy. At just 20 years old and only a few years in the hip hop game, XXX Tentacion reached career heights that many artists could only dream of reaching in a 30 year career. He was an idol to his adoring fans, a pioneer amongst his musical peers, and above all, a troubled soul who just ultimately wanted to find genuine love and achieve ultimate self-realization. XXX Tentacion brought up the laws of the universe several times in interviews and conversation. But what exactly are the laws of the universe? And what is the master key system that he mentioned a few times? And what did XXX Tentacion know about these two topics that allowed him to propel into success at such a young age? And more importantly, how can you use these same principles to become the best version of yourself? Pay attention because implementing these principles, if done right, could be the turning point of your year. Today, we make the connection between XXX Tentacion and the Master Key System. Welcome to Icons and Ideas, where we talk about philosophical ideas and make connections to your favorite icons in hip hop, pop culture, and throughout history. Since this is our first video on this channel, let's start by defining exactly what we mean when we use the word icon. Don't worry, we'll keep it quick. On this channel, we'll define icon as a figure that represents something greater than the person themselves, which means for better or worse, if the person represents a platform, idea, or purpose greater than themselves, we'll consider them an icon. Now that we have that out of the way, let's begin. You're probably thinking, I learned about the laws of gravity and energy in school already. Why would I want to learn them again? No, we're not going to talk about those laws. We're talking about the laws of the universe that barely any science class goes in depth on. Sure, you've probably been given a brief overview about some of these, but were you taught about how to use them in your everyday life? Today, we'll specifically discuss the seven natural laws of the universe. We'll briefly define each law and give a quick, realistic example about how you can implement each and every one of them and benefit from the new knowledge starting right now. The Law of Vibration This law states that everything vibrates and nothing rests. Vibrations of the same frequency resonate with each other. So like attracts like energy. Every living being on Earth vibrates at a certain frequency. A great real-life example of the Law of Vibration that we've all experienced would be when we or our family get a new car. Why is it when we get a new Toyota Camry, we suddenly begin noticing so many other Toyota Camrys on the road? Did everyone else suddenly get Toyota Camrys too? No, probably not. It's because in our brain, something called the reticular activation system is activated. And we start to filter in things that match vibrationally what we think of. That's why all spiritual teachers emphasize that we should be careful what we focus on. Whatever you focus on, you will find in this world. Try this. Today, tell yourself that you will only focus on the color red. You will automatically start to mentally match the color red, and you'll start to see examples of it everywhere you go. The idea is to focus on what you want out of life and remove your attention from what you don't want out of life. The Law of Relativity This law states that you define something by relating it to something else. An example of this would be in the world of social media. Some people use this law to relate their financial situation to their favorite artist or rapper who's making millions of dollars per year. You feel like your life isn't as good as their life because relative to the amount of money that they're making, you're not making as much. When you compare your situation to someone else's, you take away the focus and energy 
that you could be using to make your own life better. Try this. Today, compare your current situation financially, mentally, spiritually, and physically to where you were last year. Are you feeling better, living better, and looking better than you were last year? If not, sit down and write one thing you can do today to take your life in the right direction. The Law of Cause and Effect This law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In this universe, every cause has an effect, and every effect has a cause. Are you feeling tired today? That's an effect that had to have a cause. Maybe you didn't get enough sleep. Maybe your diet hasn't been the best. This same logic can be applied to your financial situation, your mental state, and every single thing in your life. What caused you to be in the situation that you're in right now? And more importantly, what can you do right now to make sure that you'll be in a better position this time next year? Try this. Today, reverse engineer your goals. What effect do you wish to attract? Better health? More money? All it takes is some strategic planning. Maybe you want to make $10,000. Well, all you need to do is find a way how to sell a product or service for $50 to 2,000 people. What service or product could you provide 2,000 people that they would be willing to pay you $50 each for? Be the positive effect in your life so that you can reap positive effects in your life. The Law of Polarity This law states that everything has an opposite. Hot, cold, light, dark, up, down, good, bad. Everything has an opposite, but more importantly, you need to focus on what you want to be, not what you don't want to be. An example would be to focus on what you're grateful for in life, not what you don't have. Try this. For the rest of the day, whatever time you're watching this video, try and focus on the positive in every situation you face for the rest of the day. The Law of Rhythm This law states that everything in life has a natural cycle and rhythm to it. The waves flow back and forth. The sun rises and the sun sets. Life comes and life goes. The only constant in life is change. An example of this would be that every day, no matter what amazing or terrible thing happens in the world, the sun will set tonight and it will rise tomorrow. Try this. Whenever things aren't going your way, and it feels like you'll be stuck in the position you're in forever. Remember that tomorrow is another day and you can start fresh. The sun will always rise no matter how dark it was the night before. And remember, it's always darkest before the dawn. Law of Gestation This law states that everything in life takes time to manifest. The ideas you plant in your mind today won't always show tomorrow but they will show over the course of weeks, months, and years of consistent focus. Not only will they show, but the results will be exponential. An example of this would be the Chinese bamboo tree. Like any plant, growth of the Chinese bamboo tree requires soil, water, and sunshine. Even with months and years of consistent nurturing, the bamboo tree shows no signs of growth. Until years later, where over the course of a few weeks, the tree growth shoots up 60, 70, 80 feet tall. Did the tree not grow at all during those few years? Not quite. While it seemed on the surface like nothing was happening to the bamboo tree, underground, the roots of the plant were actually going deep and wide into the ground so that when the tree grows tall, it'll have a strong and stable foundation. Our patience will be tested when chasing our dreams. And there will be times when you're putting in hundreds or thousands of hours of effort with little to nothing to show for it. Then all of a sudden, over a short period of time, our effort will be rewarded. To everyone on the outside, it'll look like an overnight success. But to you, you'll know that it was the consistent effort that you put in day in and day out that reaped your success. Try this. Keep the law of gestation in mind when you're up late at night chasing a dream that only you can see. And when you're up early in the morning 
at the gym when everyone else is asleep. The law of transmutation. This law states that energy moves in and out of physical form. You can take your creative, physical, sexual, and spiritual energy and focus it on whatever you'd like to get out of this world. An example is something I know a lot of us have heard about, NoFap. A lot of men go on the journey of NoFap in order to transmute their sexual energy and use that energy to pursue their creative or physical goals. Instead of releasing that energy sexually, you can use that energy and transmute that energy to get in a good workout in the gym. Try and remember the law of transmutation when you feel like you're about to waste your energy pursuing something with no positive outcome. Instead of snacking on junk food when you're anxious or sad, try going for a run or doing some push-ups. You're probably saying, why would I want to do some push-ups instead of eating a bag of chips? Well, we never said it would be easier or more fun. It's all about transmuting that energy from those unhealthy desires to more productive activity. Now that we have a basic understanding of the laws of the universe, let's discuss the Master Key System. Study your laws of the universe. Laws of the universe. Or get the Master Key. I'll be here, dog. Have a good one. Even if you're an X fan, most people have never even heard of the Master Key System. If you have, you're in a rare minority. For those who don't know, the Master Key System is a book written over a hundred years ago in 1916 by author Charles F. Hanel. Hanel was a philosopher and wealthy businessman who owned several successful businesses. Within the first two decades of the Master Key System book being published, it sold over 200,000 copies. The Master Key System also inspired the authors of The Secret and Think and Grow Rich. Enough about the history of the book. You're probably wondering exactly what about the Master Key System made it so great and why did XXXTentacion recommend it? The thing that makes the Master Key System different than any other self-help book in history is the fact that at the end of each of the 24 chapters of the book, the author gives readers an exercise to complete. The exercises are meant to help the reader increase their creative power, mental capabilities, and realize that you can use your mind to manifest anything you want in this life. While we recommend checking out the book and reading all 24 chapters and completing the exercises yourself, we put together a five-step exercise that you can try every day. Step one, sit down in a comfortable chair, relax your body, and close your eyes. Step two, practice letting go of distracting or negative thoughts that may come in your mind. Don't try and fight the thoughts, just shift your mental attention to a more positive topic. If the thoughts keep persisting, break down the thought patterns and ask yourself why you keep thinking the way you're thinking. Have that mental conversation with yourself until you've reasoned away the negative thought pattern. This will take some practice, so don't get frustrated that it wasn't easy the first few times. Step three, with your goal or dream in mind, visualize a scenario where you will receive or experience your dream. The trick here is to use your imagination to visualize the end don't worry about how you'll get there, just visualize having or experiencing what you dream of. Again, you don't need to worry about how you'll get there. The path will unfold in your life in a way that you could have never imagined. Step four, after your meditation, in a notepad or journal, or even your phone, write down your thoughts and how grateful you are in future tense that you've experienced or received your dream. Step five, the most important and final step is to remain in mental harmony with your dream or goal. Go throughout your day with a positive and open attitude for the possibilities of ways you'll take to achieve the goal. Repeat steps one to five daily if possible and remain confident in knowing that through the power of your spirit and unity with God, not in a religious way, that you now have the knowledge and confidence that you need for the truth in your life to unfold accordingly. One last time, you don't need to worry about when 
or how long until things unfold, just trust the process and that everything will work out in perfect timing. So now that we have some general knowledge about the laws of the universe and the master key system, how did XXXTentacion advise his fans on learning and achieving success? I've done enough talking for today, so we'll hear it directly from X himself. should practice this shit because, but I don't think it's fucking fair that nobody's getting a chance because they don't know this shit. Pay attention to that shit. You are the key. You are the key. Nothing else is the key. The law of attraction at its finest will always work with the human mind. Anything you want, you can attract. You are the key. You can be more successful than I am. You may have more energy than I do. I am nothing special. Use your brain. Attract what you want. Believe in yourself. You are, you are capable. Thanks for watching this episode on icons and ideas. If you like this video and want to see more, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And feel free to leave suggestions for future videos down in the comments. We also make new merch designs for each of the videos that we put out. If you like the designs, it's a great way to help out and support the channel. Thank you.